Okay, today we're going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem. First off, there are special names that we have for right triangles. You have a right triangle. We know it's a right triangle because we have this little square in the corner that tells us that one side is perpendicular to another. So when you see that square in a triangle, you have a right triangle. And the longest side of the right triangle is the hypotenuse. It is always opposite the right angle. That means that it doesn't touch the right angle, the side itself. And that makes the other two sides of your triangle called the legs. Okay, we have a wonderful Greek mathematician named Pythagoras who discovered something called the Pythagorean Theorem. And he figured out that any right triangle that you have um, if you will look at this picture that we have before I actually tell you what it is, look at the diagram. They, th they want us to look at the diagram at the right and show the, right, the sides of the right triangle with a square along each side. So this inside portion, this is the right triangle they're talking about. And what they've done is they have put a square on each side of the right triangle. So they want us to find out how many square units are in each region. So in region A, we have 3 by 3, which is 9 square units. And B, we have 4 by 4, which would be 16. And then in region C, we have 5 by 5. And that, of course, is 25. So what we have figured out, and it's stated for you in words, but it just shows you a picture to help you understand a little better, that the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse. A lot of words can cause some trouble sometimes. But in algebra, excuse me, algebra, we write it a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Okay? And in more concrete, what we have here is 9 plus 16 equals 25. That is always the case. So when you see a squared plus b squared equals c squared, know that a and b are representing your legs, and c is your hypotenuse. So to put this actual picture in words, write a sentence relating the number of square units in regions a and b to the number of square units in region c, then we're going to say the number of square units in regions A and B equals the number of square units in region C. In region C. So hopefully that picture will help you understand that and remember, understand why we're squaring each side and not just the side itself. Okay? Now, because of this Pythagorean theorem, if we know two sides of a right triangle, then we can always find the third side. I should write the third side. Okay, so we have here, it says, what is the length of a hypotenuse of a right triangle with legs of lengths 9 and 12? So they're asking us for the hypotenuse. So in my a squared plus b squared equals c squared, I use that because I have a right triangle. They told me that the legs were 9 and 12. So that's 9 squared plus 12 squared, and I'm looking for the hypotenuse. And C is always the hypotenuse, always the leg that's the longest. So 9 squared is 81 plus 144. That gives us a total of 225. And when you take the square root of both sides, of course you get plus or minus. But to answer the question, because we're talking about a triangle, then our answer will be just the positive, and that would be 15 centimeters. All right, so look at the next one, another example. 
what is the side length A in the triangle at the right? So let me clean this up just a little bit so it's not too distracting there. Okay. What is the side length of A in the triangle at the right? So again, I have a right triangle. So you want to think Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And the important thing is to make sure the longest side is C. So you can see from our picture that that is 15. Now they tell us, I'm looking for A, so we'll go ahead and write A squared, and that makes B equal to 12. So we have A squared plus 144 equals 225. How do I solve for A squared? Well, I'm going to subtract my 144 from both sides. running out of room here so we'll come back up to here and that tells me that a squared is equal to 81 again take the square root of both sides so a equals plus or minus 9 and we're dealing with a triangle so we only need the positive so a is 9 and that would be the answer to the problem And in case, we'll just put this here so you'll know what we did to get from there to there. We took the square root of both sides. Okay, the next thing that we got to talk about are if-then statements. Okay, an if-then statement such as if an animal is a horse, then it has four legs, is called a conditional statement. And conditionals have two parts. The part following the if is called the hypothesis. And the part following the then is the conclusion. So if I asked you what is the hypothesis of this statement here, let me highlight that. If I ask you the hypothesis of this, the hypothesis is an animal is a horse. The conclusion is it has four legs. You don't actually give me the words if and then. It's the part without. So that's your hypothesis and this is your conclusion. We'll write that up here to make it easier for you to refer back to. Hypothesis and conclusion. Now we have something called the converse of a conditional statement. And you get that by, it switches the hypothesis and the conclusion. And sometimes the converse of a true conditional is not true. So we have to look at each individual case. But why that's important is because we're going to actually use that information to talk about the converse of the Pythagorean theorem. Okay? Remember our Pythagorean theorem said if I have a right triangle, then I know that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So our converse is going to be if the triangle has three sides such that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then the triangle is a right triangle with hypotenuse c. So You'll be given a problem, a triangle with sides 12, 16, 20. Is it or is it not a right triangle? And so what we're going to do, you got to put that longest one by itself. So we're looking to see if 12 squared plus 16 squared, does that equal 20 squared? Well, put that side in your calculator and you will get 400. Put this on your calculator and you will get 400. So, we say that this one is a right triangle because 12 squared plus 16 squared is equal to 20 squared. Alright, look at the next one. We have 9, 11, 14. Again, 14 is the longest side. So we do 9 squared plus 11 squared. Does that equal 14 squared? Well, 9 squared plus 11 squared is 
put that in your calculator and you get 202. Put 14 and into your calculator and square it and you get 196. Those are not equal, so that means these do not make the sides of a right triangle because, as we just said, they're not equal. Okay? So you'll see that kind of problem again. Which sets of lengths could be the sides of a right triangle? Okay, again, the hardest thing I do is make sure you pick out the longest side to be by itself. So 6 squared plus 24 squared, does that equal 25 squared? Okay. Pause when you need to and go calculate these and then come back and check your work. But 6 squared plus 24 squared, put that in your calculator and you'll get 612. 25 squared is 625. So those are not equal. Then we have 4 squared plus 8 squared. Does that equal 10 squared? Uh, 4 squared plus 8 squared is 80. 10 squared is 100. So that doesn't work. 10 squared plus 24 squared equal to, does that equal 26 squared? Well, this gives us 676. And this gives us 676. So this one does work. And let's check out 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 16 squared. We're checking that. 8 squared plus 15 squared is 289. And 16 squared is 256. So that does not work. And the only set that can be the sides of a right triangle would be set C. Again, keep in mind as we did this, the biggest number is always by itself when you use this Pythagorean theorem. Okay? So, the last one says, could the lengths 20, 47, and 52 be the side lengths of a right triangle? Again, 20 squared plus 47 squared equals 52 squared. Is that true? All right, we put this in our calculator. We get 2609. Put 52 and square it in our calculator, and we get 2704. Those are not equal. Okay, so the answer to the question is no, and the explanation you would write is because 20 squared plus 47 squared does not equal 52 squared. So you don't want to write it like that. That's just you checking your work. But this is all you have to do to explain it. So if you answered yes, then you would say it equals. If you answer no, then you would say it does not equal. And that sums up our Pythagorean theorem.